What's up guys, just a quad here. I'm doing a tutorial on how to install the PC custom World at War PC custom zombie mats on PC obviously, not PS3, not Xbox. So we've got our World at War there, and there's two websites you'll be using, uh, customcod.com, you can check the ratings, let's go, um, or the downloads, etc, what you want the highest. And you've got zombiemodding.com, and you can pick yourself as pages, you know. Go and get one, download them one, and I'll show you how to install it. You just laid a tutorial on this, but you missed something out, and I put a comment on it, and people were like, oh, thanks, you know, etc. So basically, what you're going to do is these ones downloaded from zombiemodding.com are going to be a .exe file. All you have to do for that is double click it and run and install, and you'll run it through the Call of Duty thing, and you, yeah, it also gives you a start. <laughs> Shut up. Um, for the more the zip files, this is what you'll get off the customcod.com. What you're going to do is right click extract files here. Actually, well, you've got inside stuff, all the FF files and everything. So you'll right click go extract files here. Right, and what you're going to need is this link. And what, oh god, oops. and what Yotaslay missed out is he had user written here. And what you want to do is you want to change that to your computer's name. Mine is Elliot, because that's my name. So you're going to change it to that. Oh, whoops. Just deleted the slash. So change it to Elliot. And you're going to go press OK. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it, so it might mess it up. Right, uh, actually, it's going to say it's already there, so I'm just going to say no. So, yeah, you're going to do that and install that. And you've basically done that. Or you're just going to load up your world at war. Right, sorry guys, um, it, I did this tutorial, but it didn't record my World at War because I was recording the desktop and so I only record my desktop. So, this is what you can do, load up your mod, I'm using the subway because that's the one I did. Sorry, so I had done it before, but I've got to do it again because it's a stupid thing. If you want to play cooperative, go host online, game setup, game mode Nazi Zombies, last Christmas, select the one you want. Oh, whoops. And invite your friends. Exactly. Etc. Invite. They're off. But um, I can't actually get this to work, my friends. It doesn't load it up. So if anyone has, help, like, it just says, um, what is it? Game sessions no longer available. When we invite them, and we can't do it. So if anyone has any suggestions or <clears throat> a way we can do it, then please tell me. So if you want to play solo, you're gonna you've got the mod loaded up. So you can type in the you're gonna press C. What's it called? Tab button, which is below Escape and above Tab, and you're gonna have to go in your options and turn it on. Game options, enable console, yes. So now what you're going to do is type that, press that, squeak line, forward slash dev map. That's if you want mods, so you can uh, type in forward slash god mode, forward slash unlimited ammo one to get unlimited ammo, whatever. So, but I'm just going to type in map because I don't want the map. Nazi underscore zombie, not zombies, underscore subway because it's an enable map. Enter. And it's going to load up the map. So basically, this is the end tutorial. If you're watching this on another channel, then please go and subscribe to my channel, The Gluten Monster. This is basically Yota Slayer's tutorial, and I only found out, I only started playing World War PC Zombies the other day. So, yeah, but this is Yota Slayer, didn't cover all of it, so this is what you're doing. For some reason, it's taking forever to load. It will load, it did just now. So, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.